So today I will be recording on my GoPro and we'll be taking a look at the LifeProof Nude case for the iPhone 5 and 5S. So what's different about this is that uh, from the older version, this one does include the Touch ID capable home button here. It's a filament kind of a plastic that will read through your fingerprint. This case is waterproof. It's also dust proof. Uh, it's I guess snow and ice proof and it's uh, fairly drop proof and it, it does provide a pretty sturdy case around it but of course the main reason you buy these cases is because it is waterproof so specs wise it allows you to go 6.6 .6 feet or 2 meters this also applies to the drop proof uh, from 6.6 .6 feet or uh, 2 meters high it also exceeds military standards um, and has IP68 these are things that it's it's mostly a marketing tactic. Um, it's good to know, but it doesn't really apply to you and really any real world situations. So what the LifeProof Nude case comes with is the case itself, as seen here. The inside here is a uh, testing, um, I guess, filler, where you're supposed to test the case itself in the water for 30 minutes before you actually use it. And this thing, because there's no screen uh, cover here, it acts as an iPhone screen and you're, you're able to check if any water gets in later on after that 30 minute test to make sure that there's no uh, leakage anywhere. But of course, uh, as it says on this um, filler here that all these cases are tested by LifeRoof themselves, um, but just in case, they, they get you to test it as well. It also comes with the um, headphone adapter. Um, this one is actually screw-in because how this works is to keep it waterproof while you're still, while while using headphones, is that you you can screw this in so that it's actually uh, sealed shut as well, and it's um, sealed along with this. It also comes with a microfiber cloth, LifeProof branded. Instructions. It also comes with a screen protector, so it's recommended not to use a screen protector on your own that covers the whole screen, just because the case is meant to fit exactly an iPhone, and even that maybe half a millimeter screen protector may affect the, um, the ceiling there. So what this screen protector does is it, fit, it fits exactly into the empty screen portion. So it allows you to protect your screen while still not affecting the waterproofness. waterproofness. So that's that. Let's put in the iPhone and check it out. So I have my iPhone here open this case up all you do is you first open the bottom part where it covers the lightning port and then a corner here you just gives you a little gap there that you can start ripping from and it's really just a forceful rip and it comes right off take out the the filler uh, make sure you've tested it uh, before doing any of this I've already tested it and I've actually used it in a swimming pool as well which I'll show some footage from uh, later on so bottom in first so that the um, I the headphone socket actually goes into the um, iPhone headphone socket and push it right in and all you do is you just push one corner and you start going around like this you gotta make sure all the clamps are, are actually held in tight so I go around twice or three times even just in case uh, so that you don't hear any more um, clicking once that's done just push in the bottom port so it's open and just push it in here you have a click and you're good to go. So just looks wise, this is probably one of the thinnest cases uh, available that's waterproof. The benefit of ha having a nude is that you have direct access to the screen. One of the big things that I did not like about many protection cases, many of the otter boxes or any of the hard cases, is that they provided their own kind of screen over the iPhone screen. There was always that gap between the two screens and it was really annoying to actually uh, use because all these kind of tapping onto the screen it felt like it was missing a lot of clicks but here full access and that's done because they actually have a a seal around the whole screen touch ID it actually works fairly well um, I've rarely missed one just like that around the case we have the headphone jack here if you ever want to plug it in you just open this part plug it right in and you're done close it volume buttons and then the lock button is a little weird because by going up you're actually putting it on silent and by going down you're actually putting it on loud um, so it's kind of opposite 
Lock button, very easy to click, very comfortable, not too hard, not too soft. For the front camera, the speakers, and the light sensor, we have speaker holes down here. The camera hole and the flash hole, the flash here is actually a filament as well. The camera is actually a clip glass. The nice thing about the back of this as well is that it's see-through. And the benefit that I see for that is that in case water does ever get in, you're able to quickly see that it's actually in there. Instead of covering the back up and not being able to see um, anything because the front is, you can't tell if there's water in there or not. So if there is water in there, you're out of luck because everything else is covered. But it's nice because the back isn't and you're able to just see it. Once you do see it, quickly react, you know, take it out of the water, clean it, dry it, whatever you want to do. Some minor quirks about it is that I guess it's not meant to be used as a daily case, um, but I have been using it for the last week as a daily case. And what I've noticed is that inside the speaker hole here because it's so deep and it's kind of like a pocket as I put it into my pocket it actually gathers a lot of dust so it's kind of affecting the front camera uh, the light sensor you know affect your image quality um, that's one thing as well as the flash and the camera back here gets really dusty as well and it actually just absorbs dust you kind of have to clean it over and over again but of course if you actually use it like it's meant to be used which is only kind of when you're in the water I would say um, then it's perfect, it's fine, you're not put, shoving it in your pocket all the time. As well with the Touch ID here, because the filament is kind of like a, just like a sheet of rubbery plastic, the more you use it, I'm afraid it would stretch and kind of just break on itself because it's so thin and easy to, it just feels very weak. It's, it's a nice material for the Touch ID because it's able to access it, but because of that, it's, I would not use it for an everyday use case just because I'm afraid of actually breaking that part. If that part breaks, then, you know, the whole case is kind of, flawed. So I actually took this case to a pool party that I had at a friend's house and I dropped it in. Uh, the limit says it's two meters but I think the phone actually went deeper than two meters, probably two and a half to three meters underwater. Um, it actually survived, it was fine, no water went in. Keep note that while you're underwater you're not able to actually use the screen because water um, acts as a conductor I guess and your screen is um, sensitive to that so this the water will act like it's touching the screen sometimes so it'll have sporadic clicks um, so if you are underwater just open the camera app before you go under start recording um, you can always use the volume control buttons to play and pause or take a photo I took a lot of slow-mo uh, videos jumping off the diving board or just swimming underwater very cool stuff I'm not gonna do a drop test because um, I'll link to a video uh, that does a great job test and I am thankful for that he's done it so I don't have to do it so check it out so another thing uh, with these cases is the audio quality it does cover up the speaker pretty well but you can see here that it does have grills for it itself and up here as well I haven't had any problems with the audio quality it has not hindered anything um, I don't use the audio jack because I use wireless headphones but I can see that carrying this around if you're using it as an everyday case could be um, cumbersome and you may actually lose it and it's actually just annoying to have something extra sticking out. I haven't had any issues with the uh, call quality as well. No one on the other line has ever told me that, oh, I can't hear you or anything outside of the normal uh, reception issues. So audio wise, it's a great case. One thing that I do have to note is that because there's a little cliff here from the um, case to the screen. Uh, for iOS 7 and up uh, to access your control center as you can see here it's kind of a it's kind of a pain sometimes um, I'm actually having trouble now as you can see my jailbreak tweaks there see that there you go so it, it's a bit it's a bit of a trial and error you kind of just have to keep at it um, that's my one gripe about it that's the worst thing I've had you kind of just gotta dig in and just flick up so one issue that some people may have is the Touch ID not recognizing your finger after you put on the case. So one way to remedy this is to actually re-register your fingerprints with the case on, which will then recognize it with the filament over it. So it's a lot, it actually access it a lot better and the results are uh, much better that way. So if you are having that problem, you should definitely try that out. As a final recommendation, if you're looking for a case that allows you allows your phone to go into water or you need that waterproof um, ability, I would definitely recommend the LifeProof Nude. Of course, do note that the negatives are that 
well for one it costs ninety dollars so this isn't a case for you to just carry around every day again that goes back to the fact that this filament can break easily this these holes gather a lot of dust which hinders kind of the performance of it um, it's not a case that I would say you use every day. It's a case that you, you have a specific need for it. If you're going to a water park you're, or you're going swimming, you have a swimming pool, or you know, you're just around a lot of uh, water a lot and you're afraid that it may drop in it or something like that. Um, it's one of those cases, a very specialty case, if you need it for that need. I would not buy it just because you want a protective case. This is not meant for that, I would say. Um, if you want a protective case, get an Autobox commuter or Autobox defender. Those cases are great for what they do. If you want the thin, the thin or the small profile, get the commuter. Or if you want the really durable look, uh, get the defender. But this case is really for that waterproof ability that you specifically need it for. You can grab it at Best Buy or the Apple Store, Future Shop, you know, any of those big retail chains. I got this at Apple. I have no regrets. It's a great case. Um, I will be testing the preserver against it which pretty much takes a lot of elements from the nude. Other than the fact, of course, this one has a screen protector. And yeah, that's it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, do subscribe, like. I know my channel looks like shit right now, but um, come back for more updates. I'll be doing, hopefully, weekly reviews, so um, do come back and check it out. Check out my blog for a more detailed review. And that's it.